Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Let's go see what's in the fridge. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review. Today's beer, this is OBP2. And what they've done to this one, uh, that stands for Orange Blossom Pilsner. And that was like a five and a half percent. So they make this beer and they use half the water, so that makes it twice as alcoholic. So this beer comes in at 11 percent. I can just imagine what this is going to be like, guys. And I'm not looking forward to it because I think it's going to be so boozy, it's going to be... We're going to find out though. Alright guys, this is uh, done by Thomas Creek Brewery and they're in South Carolina and they're, they brew it for these guys down in Florida. Year round serving on this one it says. Uh, the food pairing for this it says general like the last one does. And the glassware, pint, Beckerstein, and mug, 11%. I went ahead and brought the Duval glass out for this. Uh, I use that for the bigger beers and this is definitely a monster beer. We got to go, it's going to be a monster boozy beer. It says uh, uh, you can sell this beer, of course, at 11%. Uh, I don't think there's anything different on the label that was on the other one. No kind of dating or anything. And it probably has that black digitized code on the bottom, which means nothing to me. Half the water, twice the flavor. When you make a pot of coffee, and you use half the water, you get some pretty rich coffee. That's the price we use. 11% alcohol. The result is a bold, distinct taste of its own, made with twice as much real orange blossom honey. All natural ingredients and refi no refined sugar is really the new king bee of beers. Well, let's see about that. Let's get the cap off this bad boy and see if it's going to be drinkable or if it's going to be so sweet and boozy. And it looks a little darker than the last one and the OBP1. They call this OBP2 or OBP squared. Yeah, a lot redder, a lot richer color in that. Didn't pour a monster head, didn't expect it to at 11%. Fairly, no, nah, not so much. This, the bubbles are shrimping up from the bottom. It's definitely not overcarbonated. Fairly clear beer, though. And I can smell the sweetness from here. I really can, so. Wow, it has almost got a candied sugar. And you can get the orange blossoms in here. The, the orange blossom, I don't know. The, it's, it's more perfumey to me in the first one than this one, but it is there. I'm not smelling the alcohol for 11% beer. I was expecting this was going to be boozy, 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 but I'm not getting that on the nose. Now, the taste may be something different. Very sweet, very floral, very herbal, just like I did on the first one. But it, it's, it smells a little more pleasant than the first one. So let's see what the taste is just as pleasant. Like I said, this is one of the, the beers that uh, and come in the box that Dennis brought up. So. And about the only ones we got left, I think I may have one or two more other ones in there. And the rest of them are Cigarette City beers. So we'd be looking forward to doing the, the better beers. But like I said, the, the one we did yesterday, uh, it was pretty tasty, 8.5%. It was pretty nice. I enjoyed that one. Cheers, guys. Wow. Very sweet. A lot of sweet malt. Boy, the honey. It's like you put a beer in a glass and you went and got a bottle of honey and you poured it in the beer. And it's so sweet. That is a 11% chick beer as far as I'm concerned. It is so floral and so sweet. It's almost like a wine. A lot of orange blossom taste in that. Believe it or not, the alcohol is fairly well hidden. I'm pleasantly surprised at 11%. Just not that boozy. Very sweet, though. Almost like a barley wine with honey, made with honey. That's what it reminds me of. Well, it's right out of the fridge. We're going to let this one warm up. 11%. It's definitely probably going to change as it warms up. So, 
Stick around, I'll be right back and we'll see where this one ends up. I'm on the fence right now. I'm surprised. I was expecting it to be horrible and it's not. I'll be right back. Alright guys, thank you for sticking around. Got just a little left. This is a... I think this is more pleasant than the original one. At least if you're going to taste the orange blossoms and it'll be that sweet, at least you're going to get the alcohol kick to go with it. So, not, definitely not my type of beer. The perfumey smell from the orange blossom honey is just overwhelming to me. I mean, it just tastes like somebody put an incense stick down in there. I will show you guys. I will say the alcohol for 11% is fairly well hidden. A lot more apparent now that it's warmed up a little bit than it was cold. I think this is better than OBP1. But it wouldn't be something that I would seek out just before, just because of the uh, the perfumey smell of the orange blossoms. Just, I mean, it's just me. It's just my opinion, guys. It may be just be me, but uh, it's just too perfumey. Uh, the orange blossoms just make it. But if the alcohol is well hidden, very well made beer. I will put that. Uh, I will say, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it that. It doesn't have. Let me see. It's got. I still don't see anything. Any kind of. Yeah, it does. It's got it right on here. All right. Finally, and it's so hard to see. Best before 12, 19, 2012. So this, they say best before 2012, uh, uh, December 19th, 2012. And it's 11%. I don't understand that. I mean, unless this beer is a couple years old already. I mean, 11% beer is going to keep for 10 years probably. But And it's not hot forward, so I don't know. Maybe the orange blossom smell and taste will fade after a while. That may be a good thing as far as I'm concerned. That's before t December 19th, 2012, right on the front. So, thumbs up guys. I, I think it would last a little longer than that. I don't know what would diminish over that, but they got it right here. It needs to be in yellow. Now, I could not see that when the bottle had condensation on it. Now that it's, that it is dried off, I can see that it's written in black. Write it in yellow. Man, we can't see that shit. They just don't understand. Come on guys. Give us something we can read. I mean, it's it's really tough, and a lot of these beers are refrigerated, especially the hoppy beers. When you buy them, they have them in coolers. So if it's got condensation on, you pull it out, you still not gonna be able to see that. So, I mean, they're 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 trying to step up to the plate. That's better than a black coat on the bottom of the bottle. So, uh, I'm thankful for that. So with that being said, guys, uh, I'm gonna have to give it. I'm gonna give it a six. It's a B beer. I mean, it's it's got the date on it. I was gonna give it a five, a B minus, but it's got the date on it. So I'm gonna step up and say it's. It's a decent beer. If you can get this at a good price, I don't know. I don't think the distribution is very big out of Florida. Might be able to get it in South Carolina since it's brewed down at Thomas Creek. So, uh, guys, give me some comments back on this. Or let me know what you think of the OBP and the OBP2. That's what this one is. So, wasn't impressed. Not my style of beer, but I think this one is a tad better than the first one. So, I'm going to leave it at that, guys. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe. And come on back tomorrow. We're going to look in that fridge. I don't know which one. We'll pick one of them out. There's about four or five around here. See you then.